What's going on guys? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi, and today we're going to be viewing this brand new 2022 Keystone Bullet Ultralight Model 291 RLS. Rear living with a slide, so sleeping room on this particular floor plan for three. And right now I've got all the slides closed in to show you what it looks like going down the road. We're going to start on the outside of the coach going over its different features before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming at you 33 feet, seven inches of total length, this is this 2022 Keystone Bullet Ultralight Model 291 RLS. Rear living with a super slide, sleeping room, possibly for up to six. And the one you guys are gonna be viewing today, only sleeping room for three. Rear living floor plan, that's gonna be identified by those enormous windows in the back. 20 foot awning with LED lights underneath. Even your own entrance from the outside. Fiberglass camper with aluminum sidewalls. This is a 50 amp coach. Dry weight on this particular model of 6,320 pounds. Hitch weight of only 700 pounds, making it perfect for more of your half ton towable trucks from the market today. Possibly even some of your larger SUVs. 51 cubic foot storage compartment in the front. And good shot of some of the aluminum structure. Over there is a pegboard material. Maybe you can hang some of your stuff up. Coach is gonna come standard. All Keystone products this year coming standard with a 200 watt solar flex panel. Solar panel on the roof, which sends over a Trinco charge to this 30 amp charger straight over to the house battery. And yes, it's just enough to keep the house battery charged. However, you can upgrade the solar flex 200 to a four or even a 600 watt panel, giving you an inverter, which therefore could possibly power maybe your air conditioner or some particular outlet inside the camper water lines are done nicely on this one coming up through the floor connecting to all your city water connections or even the black tank flush once you're finished camping coach is going to be leveled from a four point stabilizer electric jacks in the front as well as the rear and i'm here at this angle just to show you because the controls to operate both of those jacks are found inside of this docking station as well your baggage doors are about an inch thick and they're held up with these plastic clips and replacing the last year magnets. Just your standard latches there as well. You're gonna have two 20 pound bottles in the front for 40, gall 40 gallons total. And your docking light is one enormous LED light strip up, up there on the front. It's a pretty sunny day here in Mississippi today. Hope you guys can see it. Coming around, give you another shot of the pass through storage and take a look at the pegboard as well as the aluminum structure on this coach. Here's a shot of that pegboard for you. Fully enclosed underbelly, six gallon gas or electric hot water heater found underneath the awning on this model. So be careful if you are to set up maybe a table out here, that is the exhaust. If you're running the hot water heater on propane, gas or electric, six gallons. 19 foot electric awning with white LED lights found underneath it there. There are your outdoor speakers and TV connections are right down here. There is a sticker for a TV mounting bracket, but I leave that to the professionals. I, I don't feel comfortable putting any kind of mount through a fiberglass camper myself, but apparently it can be done. Solid step entry steps. These flip up and inside the doorway. Entrance on the doorway is around five foot 10, 30 inches wide. And this model does have the friction hinge on it. Coming around to the back of the coach, you got a fully walkable roof, windows for days, 80% safety glass on all the windows in this model. And that's a blindside camera prep. That black dot up there is gonna identify that. Coming right down, you have power connections for a 50 amp connection back here on the back of the coach, which is great. Most of the campgrounds nowadays, your sewer connections are all found back here with the power cord. This model has the four x four tubular bumper, which is great for just sewing all your sewer lines and water lines once you're finished camping. There's a shot of those rear electric jacks. Wanted to give you guys a shot of some of the stickers a model 291 RLS before heading inside. Rear living with a slide, super slide, 
and you can order this model with a sleeper sofa and replace it to theater seats but we kind of wanted to turn it into just a perfect couple's coach with these new interior and exterior colors vaulted ceilings that are around 15 feet of walking space stainless steel refrigerator that's a ge brand 10.7 cubic inch and that will work off the vehicle power or that solar flex 200 stainless steel drop-in sink high-rise faucet and you got to have two of these different drying racks here check out where they've placed your 110 outlets hidden inside of your countertop right over here this is something different rather cool and notice the yellow sticker if you upgrade the solar flex 200 to the 400 that built-in inverter is going to power certain outlets with that yellow sticker as we go throughout you'll start noticing them as well standard size Furion oven with three burners on the top low profile hood vent with a microwave and again maybe enough room to cook maybe a pan of biscuits inside of these smaller you know traditional style ovens here inside of your microwave and a shot of some of your storage pretty deep cabinets and you'll notice that is solid wood on these cabinets some particular models we carry will have more of a false wood for all of your cabinetry coming around dream dinette that's what this is called it's a legless booth and it's a dream dinette because it's so easy to let up and down just simply rotating this around thing lowers down quite easily giving you additional seeping manufacturer says two drew says one my kids are teenagers and they're not going to want to sleep two together on there thomas Payne collection furniture and this is more of a gray and i've got all the blind the blinds open because some of my viewers say that i should leave the blinds open to show how much natural light comes through tell me down below do you prefer them open or closed recliners in the back and you do have another one of those pop-up outlets with that same yellow sticker identifying that solar flex upgrade there this is a breeze window so you can open the bottom of it vaulted ceilings and i like how they bring over the darker gray trim to the top separating each one of those individual panels 50 amp coach wired with one air conditioner can have a second one installed we do to provide those here at camper kingdom if you decide to go that route taking a seat showing you where the tv is located at it's kind of nicely turned about a 30 maybe a 35 degree angle and the tv does pull away from the wall if you decide to rotate it around maybe for your people viewing sitting at the chairs or maybe you got someone sitting at the dinette over here so you can rotate it slightly this way as well additional pantry i guess this is where your pantry is going to be at additional storage for a pantry about two feet deep plenty of space there got a little fury on radio for zones a and b inside and out additional storage these handles feel like they're solid brass they're pretty pretty stout all the controls to operate your slot operations awning operations found over here next to the entry door and that's the thermostat to control the one air conditioner right here heading up into the bathroom just tons of tons of room to actually change your clothes move about linen closet right over the toilet there corner toilet pour some foot flush toilet as well show you the linen closet with a mirror there's plenty of room with a mirror accent that's rather nice ceiling height inside of the coach of around 81 inches to the dead center but on this particular shower you're going to have about a 12 to 13 maybe even 14 inch step up to step in some additional shelving provided with a skylight let me show you the shower curtain something different it's more of a plastic material but i would still recommend leaving that open to allow it to dry once you're finished showering coming around somebody shot of the additional storage space there counter space for your bathroom sink additional medicine cabinet and over there there's another one of those yellow stickers so if you were to upgrade this would be one of the outlets that inverter could possibly work i'm going to say it's about five to seven different outlets and different makes and models but it's standard the new solar flex is going to be standard this year on all of the keystone products i think this is about a 66 by 80 
queen size bed additional storage underneath you can have a hanging closet on both sides as well plus additional storage up there 110 outlets and usb chargers on both sides for your cpap or maybe just an alarm clock and that yellow sticker again identify an additional outlet inside that could be power from that solar flex 200 TV mounting bracket is going to be over here, so if you decide to mount a TV, expect to be around a 23 or 28 inch television. The bedroom is separated with a sliding door leading into the bathroom, and you have this hanging closet over next to the entrance door with this additional shelving. But what's your opinion with the door with the window? Some people like it, some dislike it. I personally would rather have a solid door because if I wanted to go in my bedroom, maybe if I had a headache during the day and just lay down, the sunlight could be rather of a nuisance. But a date and time of making a video, MSRP on this model of around $46,000. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go back to our website to view more additional photos and to also check availability. Like, subscribe, leave me your comments in the comments down below or just ask a question. Everything does help the algorithm to help our videos get shown more here at Camper Kingdom. Come see us.